Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Goodreads. We're going to be finishing out the Right Bundle Branch Block series. The previous video I had talked about, we need to evaluate through a clinical lens whether the Right Bundle Branch Block is associated with an acute process or a chronic process, and the general statement that any ST segment elevation in a Right Bundle Branch Block is concerning. So I wanted to dig a little bit more into this ST elevation and STEMI in a Right Bundle Branch Block. So here's an example. We can see a 12 lead. Looks otherwise unremarkable, but we do notice that we have some ST segment elevations out here in the lateral leads, and then we do see the reciprocal changes out here in the inferior leads. So we have ST segment elevation of one in AVL. It's a lateral STEMI. We do have the reciprocal changes there in the inferior leads. So the rule is, right, any right bundle branch block, we're treating like a normal STEMI. We're evaluating for any ST segment elevation. This is different than the left bundle branch block, which has a different set of rules. But for a right bundle, we evaluate as normal. So here's another great example, anterior STEMI in a right bundle branch block. We see the ST segment elevations in V2, V3. Again, we have a little bit of ST segment depressions out here in the inferior leads as well as the reciprocal change. So again, evaluating STEMIs as usual with right bundle branch blocks. Here's another great pre-hospital 12 lead. This one's pretty obvious. We see ST segment elevations. Here in V2, V3, big massive anteroceptal STEMI in the presence of a right bundle branch block there is that RSR prime pattern. So nothing changes with right bundles. One thing I do want to caution with the right bundles to worry about, do not be fooled by notching. There is a lot of times notching in the QRS complexes. And one thing to help alleviate that is if you're questioning what the J point is, um, always look at the lead above or below the lead that's in question. So in this one, V2, we have some notching. It's a question of, is the J point here? Is it down here? And so an easy thing to do is just look immediately above it. We know the J point is here in this lead. And if we draw a line straight down, we notice that's the next J point. That's the next J point, And we can use that to evaluate. This is a normal right bundle brand. Well, quote unquote, normal no ST segment elevation here, but again, don't be confused by the notching that you may see in a right bundle branch block. So final thing, always remember right bundle branch block, any ST segment elevation, anything of that sort is concerning. The left bundle branch block, which we'll start on the next series, does have a specific set of rules to evaluating for a STEMI, but right bundle, looking at it just like normal. Mm -hmm.